Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use and install a free lab management software. It's called italk. Um, it's used for in a lab environment where you're where you're a teacher or you're an administrator or you're a IT support. So you can monitor the screen live and you can remote control, you can lock the screens, you can show your screen uh, and you can um, see their screen if they want to show you a demo or something like that so today I'm going to show you step by step how to use that software it might be one or two part video so if you want to stick around and if the screen is not you can see the screen I'm going to use like a, uh, like a window like this so you can see free lab management software I talk so okay let's not waste time and let's get started okay first thing first you gotta go to google and type italk and sorry it's italk not italic alright so you're gonna click on the first link uh, I'm just gonna show you here too italk so now you click on the first link you go to download continue and you're gonna click on the official build right here official build the source then you're gonna click on download right here <coughs> and I will just click on this direct link make it fast I'll say okay downloading I'll talk 1.0.9 this is the latest version uh, so after this it's gonna open this file and then we're gonna start the setup okay here we go we got the setup and this is an important part once you click on the setup You click next I agree next next and for for the first time installation you have to click on both uh, master application and client application I already did this step because I, I have already installed it so it's gonna ask you after this that uh, two options you wanna uh, create a new pair of key so if it's your first time installation you definitely want to do that because you have to make that pair of key after that it's going to ask you third option is to where to save your um, your key so you make a folder in your USB and there you save that key okay so then when you go to client computer you're going to do the same thing you're going to plug in your USB and say click next next and then you're just gonna click on ITAL client application so then once you click on it say next and then the third option is gonna be import your key from you're gonna click on it plug in your USB and click that folder once do not click double you don't wanna click on that key just click on that folder and from the bottom you'll see next and just finish and that's it you're done with that computer just find the name or IP I would say name will work if you're working in a company and you're naming them um, like for example com computer 1 computer 2 if a lab room is lab 1 to 20 so you just remember the name and that's it you don't have to do anything else so I'm gonna show you how it works um, this program is correctly installed yes 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 okay so once you follow all these um, instructions and you're done with the client PC then you're gonna go and sit on your uh, master PC which is you're gonna see the icon over here you double click on it or click once okay now you see the main uh, window for italk and it's gonna look like this uh, classrooms uh, computer username so what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click add a classroom so one to 
add a classroom once you click on add a classroom you just name it I'll say my PC okay so you're gonna see your classroom right here this is your classroom okay you click right click on it and then you say add computers or computer now you can just type your name if you know the IP and you know that your IP wouldn't change after if there's a shutdown or something like that so then I will recommend IP but if it change automatically then I wouldn't recommend it because once the IP change you cannot access that computer so I will use a name because anytime the IP change the computer automatically picks that IP up so I'm going to use my computer name which is at Dan PC and here you can see this is my type and that's it you don't have to do anything check the classroom if you have many many classrooms for example I have a I have installed this on like six labs and they has 50 computers so I have to check this sometimes it just gives one name and you you're gonna start plugging in all the computers in one classroom and that's gonna be a problem once you're done you're gonna be like what I just added all the computers so you click OK now you click right here and you see I can see my computer right here you double click on it and here you go if you did installation and everything right you're gonna see this black screen and once you see the black screen that means you have done the job so you can see right now that my other computer is working now to so that's how it is you can you can basically like lock the computer you have these options lock display v live remote control let students show demo send text and all these um options work trust me they work like mm, it's best thing for free so if you if a teacher there's a there's a there's a school that don't want to spend a lot of money you know, on a software like lane school and all that they charge like two thousand dollars for a master pc and then clients and all that why not use something for free <laughs> i mean this this is a powerful tool but if you install it the right way and that's it you can use it and other other uh, uh, videos I'll show you how to um, do backups restore from uh, from Macrium it's a free imaging software so then you will n never have this trouble that your PC went down or something so let me know I'll do more videos okay take care